everyone, welcome back. I am Emily and this is my TBR for the Owls Readathon for the very first time ever. I'm super excited! If you don't know, the Owls Readathon is a month long readathon hosted by Book Roast, where there are many wizarding careers that you can take and you have to read specific books depending on what career you pick. This also goes along with the Newt's Readathon, which is similar but a little bit different and takes place later in the year. This is my very first time participating in the Readathon. I always sort of knew it was a thing. I saw it on so many booktubers videos and I never clicked on it because I assumed it was just a Harry Potter read-along Readathon, but it's not. Shows what I know. I spent way too long agonizing over the many different careers I could pick from. They're really cool, they have write-ups and descriptions, I'm looking at the one on my computer right now and I will link to all of this in my description. They're really awesome, you can pick a career that has 15 books to read in one month, you can pick a career that has 2 or 3 books to read in one month. I am not a super, I don't know, fanatical reader, I can't read 15 books in a month, I can't, especially since school is starting up on... Monday the 6th, and I would like to not die. I am also taking part in Camp NaNoWriMo this month, so I think I'm going to mash together my Camp NaNoWriMo plus my Owls Readathon vlogs and do one of those a week. I might do more videos on top of that as well, depending on how stressful the new quarter is trying to learn how to do everything online. Reading and writing are going to be a nice distraction. For this year, the wizarding career that I picked is the Mage of Visual Arts, which seems appropriate because I'm a graphic designer and illustrator. Yes, I know there's a graphic design one too, but I like these books better. There are four owls for this magical career. They are Astronomy, Charms, Divination, and the History of Magic. For Astronomy, you are challenged to read a book the majority of the time when it's dark outside. This is probably going to be easy for me because I tend to binge read stuff at night. I just finished Shadow and Bone at midnight last night for my spring break log, which will be up very soon. For this challenge, I picked to read Once Upon a River by Diane Setterfield. If you've watched any of my reading wrap-ups before, you know I read about the first 20 pages of this right to... Ah, right to here before. I will probably just reread those 26 pages and continue on with the book. This is excellent so far. I love it very much. It's about an inn on the River Thames that is very special that people come to tell stories and one day a mysterious man comes stumbling in injured with a child. That's all I know about it, that's as far as I've gone, and that is the story I'm going to read the majority of the time at night. For Charms, you are challenged to read a book with a majority white cover, and for that I picked A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. I'm just grinning because I listened to the audiobook of A Darker Shade of Magic a couple months ago. It was amazing. I just got the audiobook for A Gathering of Shadows. I am super excited to finally get to listen to this. It's such an amazing series with a great narrator for the audiobook and I'm super excited. I was very, very happy that I picked A Wizarding Career with charms in it because when it said white cover, I was like, I know what I need. I know what I need to listen to and read. For divination, you are challenged to assign random numbers to your TBR and then use a random number generator to pick one. I have a large TBR on Goodreads, but I wanted to pick something that I either had a physical copy of from the library or that I have an ebook of, so that really narrows it down. For those options, I have, first of all, Ruin and Rising by Lee Bardugo, which is the third in the Shadow and Bone series. I am reading Siege and Storm right now, so once spring break is over for me and I'm done reading Shadow and Bone and Siege and Storm, I'm actually going to start on the Owls Readathon because spring break is kind of a mishmash of last month's reading and this month's reading. I also have The Grace of Kings by Ken Liu. This is a very thick book. It's very thick with tiny print, so I don't know, I'm a little scared to maybe draw this book as another one to read. I also have an advanced reader copy of an ebook called Stormblood by Jeremy Zhao. I'm very sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, Jeremy. He's in my writing group. I'm so sorry. Stormblood is his debut novel. It's a really gritty science fiction story that I'm really, really interested in reading, and I got an advanced reader copy of the ebook, and I'm super excited. The Grace of Kings is a very sprawling, large fantasy epic. I think it's about two kings that were once friends and sort of 
stuff happens that makes them not friends and conflict escalates. I'm not entirely sure. I've been hearing about this book for a long time. I think Ken Liu is an amazing writer. His short stories I would highly recommend. So even though this is a huge book, plus three others to read this month, we're gonna give it my best shot if this is indeed the book I draw. And for a history of magic, you are challenged to read a book with witches or wizards in it, which gives me a perfect opportunity to read The Vine Witch. I have wanted to read this for so long, I couldn't get it at the library, so I just got an ebook. This is a story about a witch who had a curse put upon her and she lived as a toad for many years and now she has come back into her own self and her own body and thinks she has to sort of win her house back and she falls in love and there's some really good, awesome stuff. So that is my Owls TBR. If you guys are participating in the Owls this year, let me know in the comments what you're reading. I don't know, link your videos. I love watching these now. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and ding that little notification bell. I upload videos on Fridays about books and or writing and or movies. I love to hear from all of you in the comments, and I will see everybody next week. Bye!